That's me, Kimba. That's Jimmy. Collectively, we're known as Kimba. I like that, Kimba. I came up with that. I know. How long did that take you? Two seconds. <laughs> okay. It just made sense. We've been posting for a couple of months on social media about a music benefit that we're having at Piper's November 19, <laughs> and it's going to benefit the Justin Bartlett Animal Rescue. And some people are familiar because they've rescued from here, so thank you for that. But for those of you who aren't familiar, we wanted to come here and show you why and who and what that you'll be helping should you show up and help us. It's going to be awesome. We're looking forward to it. Let's do it. Which means I go out to the schools, I go out to the community, try to build partnerships, um, look for some sponsors who also would like to partner with us and write grants to try and raise money for our dogs and cats at the rescue. I do all things marketing and all things events. Justin Bartlett's family has been long time friends with Peter Torres, who is our CEO. Sadly, in 2008, Justin Bartlett, at the age of 23, passed away from a car accident. And due to his love for animals and the family's involvement with animals, he started a foundation for Justin Bartlett. Uh, shortly after that, he decided that let's start a rescue. 100% of the donations that we get through our events go through our dogs and cats. Right now we have over 100 in our rescue. This is Justin Bartlett. We are at a reception where our clients come in. We are a low cost, high volume hospital. Over here we have a donor tree for people who might want to honor either a family member, a pet, in our hospital rooms here, we have businesses who support a hospital room. And so they can design the room any way that they want. One of our um, vets is a fabulous painter. All the animal paintings that you see were done by Dr. Corselman, and then she did this little cat room. Miami in really bad shape. This is Lana. On her leg, we ended up amputating and we sent it out for biopsy to check if it was cancerous and it's not. And this is Sandy. She got an eye nucleation and then she had two open wounds on either one of her arms that we also fixed for her. And she also got spades. You've had a day, haven't you, Sandy? Yeah. Rocky. Oh, coyote attack. He has four open wounds. He came in like filled with maggots. We we're concerned that that wound on the left actually punctured his lung, but it didn't. How our angel fund works is if a client comes to us and their pet needs a surgery or something, they would first have to apply for care credit and be denied. Once they get denied, they have to beg, borrow, and steal to come up with as much as they can to cover the cost. Whatever isn't covered by them, the Angel Fund pays for that. All of our cats and puppies are spayed or neutered. They come with at least two vaccines. They come with their rabies shot. They come with a wellness visit to our hospital. It's free. They come with some diagnostic testing, which means if they have worms or anything, we make sure that, they, that it's treated. Right now we're going to go into the uh, Justin Bartlett Animal Rescue and what you're going to see is when we rescue very often the pregnant moms, the puppies get adopted very quickly and we have a lot of the moms who have not been adopted. So all the pups in here, some of them have been with our rescue for a few years and they are desperate to find a foster home and or adoption. So why are they still here and not with staff members? Because we have two, three, four dogs ourselves. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. You should be used to this. You should. These guys are super friendly. I must ask you a question. Hi, baby. This is Meow. Three years, three months. Female? Miss Thang. I, I guessed that correctly, because you got all the toot in your eyes. I love it. You will 
we obviously have some hope that maybe somebody will let in a senior dog in their life and, and be able to carry out that life in a home with someone who really loves and cares about them. Um, but for those dogs that don't get that chance, that are for our forever dog. Our goal is to get them out of this and into a sheltered area where they can run free, they can play with their mates, they don't actually have to walk on the street where there's cars. Some of these dogs have been with us for six or more years and it's sad, but we want them to have a home where they're forever home with us that is better than this. Those are the ones that we want that shelter for. And